how's it going? Hope you enjoyed that last owl video. Today we're going to draw a skull. It's pretty much, you could start just like the owl video by drawing two circles. But, uh, you might want to draw them a little bit off shape. So it goes something like this. There you go. You see just a little bit of an offness to it. Got the two circles. You come right in the middle between the two circles. Draw two lines. You can make it a little chip. So you got something like this. The two circles. Two lines coming down in the middle. And then what you want to do is kind of like an offsides triangle for each side. Something like this. What that is is the hole in the skull where the nose would be. So, there you go. You got like a triangle shape, two circles. And what you're going to do is come with the cheekbones from right here on each of them on the side. You're going to go like this. See? Come around. There's no exact way to do it, so don't get too crazy with trying to make it look a certain exact way. That's exactly what you don't want to do is restrict yourself and get yourself real tight. So what you got now, see, it's all balanced. Come right here, bring the line down. And there's a, so thousands of different ways to draw the skull, but this is, mine is a little bit of a stylized. Now here's where the jawbone will have like a little gap. So let's say we'll do something like this. If you don't like to do that you can also just heavily shade this part something like that come in you're gonna want to attach these this is the bottom of the gums so we go like this now you, do, you just do the gums if you've never done gums, just, you know, little triangles. They get a little tighter towards the end, a little wider in the middle. That's going to be the teeth. So I just... Now on a skull, to give it a little bit of dimension, you can take the teeth line and come up through the uh, skull like that. I like to do mine with a little bit of more of a Mexican feel. Because of this, you can come around the eyes and do it. Give it that, some a cross between the Day of the Dead and the Sugar Skull. A little Cholo tattoo style. Come in, cap the teeth. And by not drawing them exactly perfect, it gives it a little bit of dimension. You know, nothing realistic, it's just a simple sketch. You're gonna come now and you're gonna finish the jawbone by coming like this and then out again. See, see? it all comes around. We're gonna do the, uh, the top of the, see, from the middle, similar to the bottom. Same little lines. Now for fun, you can come in and do little circles or crosses, stars, all sorts of little stuff. Now, I should probably do a video on how to do diamonds. It's very popular right now. To make it real, you know, funky, what we're going to do is you take the circle and at the widest possible angle, draw kind of a triangle shape. And then come across like this. 
It should fit right in there, the diamond type shape. Come across with your lines. So you have the diamond. Just more triangles. Give it that diamondy look. Do the same on the other eye. It could do roses and lots of other things, but we don't want to get too crazy right now. now. I'm rushing. If you take your time and you really get into it, this could come out extremely special. Very cool so far. You might want to just come in to this area and darken up the noses. If you have time, you know, you can get that completely black. Same with a little bit of the area around the diamond. Very fun. Once you get into the symmetry, it can be quite addicting. Definitely. So, so far we're here. Now with the skull, you know, in a normal head you might start right here. But with a skull it's big, so you're going to want to come from the outside. And since we're already going with the Mexican theme, let's give him a sombrero. You're going to want to come out wide with that. Like this. And for the Mexican theme, I'm going to draw the little balls hanging off the end of the sombrero. Gives it a definite feel. Remember, I'm going to go around the back a little bit lower. Just have fun with it, you know? One high, one low. You know, it doesn't have to be 100% simple, everything the same. Just remember with your perspective the way things are supposed to look. Put a little band around the hat. It's not a sombrero, more of a top hat. And we'll do a little feather hanging out. Little. Give him a little bit of that Spanish hair. Go. Come back down to the teeth. toothpick. Same thing with the teeth. Do the lines going down. A little shading. See? Throw your own twist on it and have fun because that's what it's really about you gotta always remember to stay loose when you're drawing I would move the paper around also I'm not doing that to keep it even for you but that's what you'd want to do once you get to this point you know do a little bit more shading and uh... you know it's all about the detail in these sketches I do it very fast to show you the basics but when you have an hour or two you can really get down shade this thing and get crazy. Now, usually with this type of style, what's missing? We want to give him that mustache. Come in with that that real tight Mexican mustache. Steve Soto does some really amazing stuff in this style. He's, re he's really what's made this famous. He definitely owe respect to him. 
you know, on this channel, I'm going to educate you on a lot of who are the pioneers and all these guys that really should get the respect, the ones that inspired me also. See? That gives it all the change in the world and make it fancy, you know, like a little bit of filigree. Come up. Do it on the bottom here, a little bit of Mexican goatee. Little that little sucker flavor saver. Yeah, see? It's cool stuff. Now have a little bit of fun here. Do a little bit of Any questions, let me know. Thank you very much.